Hi, I shall be talking about Panel Contiguration Model. We have three variable, as you can see it here, GDP, PE, EC, and CO2. We use it as a log, or we convert it to log, which is logarithm. But we have to do the precondition for running the panel contiguration test. And that is the variable must be non-stationary at level, but when we convert it into the first difference, they become stationary. This is an assumption. So now we have to go for run panel unit root test. How? I open the data as a group. This is the data, dependent variable LDGTPPE, independent variable LC, LAC, LCO2. I go to quick, see a statistic unit root. Put the first variable LGDPPE, and here. We test it in summary, we test it at level for individual intercept only and leave everything as it is because the automatic selection is SIC but you can use any other criteria as you can see it here AIC, SIC, Hanan and Modifine and so on. In our case we use SIC. So here everything set up, press OK. You can see here the probability 1 significant and the 3 are not significant, which means that leaving and length significant at 5% level and 1% level, and Fisher and Fisher and Fisher chi square for PP and IDF, they are not significant at 5% level. So, what we shall do now? We have to correct it. I go to view again, unit root, and then I select difference, leave everything as it is, click OK. Here you can see all the four method for Levine, Pesseron, Fisher IDF, and Fisher PP, all statistically significant, which is a good sign. Then I have to test for the second variable I'll go to quick see the statistic unit root and then LEC press OK I test it at level as we mentioned in the beginning we assume that all the variable non stationary at level and then we test it for difference and then I press OK you can see all the method and statistically significant because p-value less than 5% and here we can say the four methods are statistically significant at first difference for the second variable LEC. Then we test for the third variable. We go to quick, serial statistic, unit root and LCO2. Press OK. We assume at level no, they are not stationary and then we use the first difference, leave everything as it is and then we press OK. You can see that Levine's Len significant at 5% and Fisher and significant, ADF Fisher chi-square significant, PP Fisher chi-square significant. So all the variable now is stationary, all the three variable are stationary at first difference. From here, we can move to run the panel contiguration test. How? Let me just delete this. And then, this is the data, as you can see it here. I'll go to quick, group statistic, Johansson test. And this is the variable here. As you can see it, LGDPPE, LEC, and LCO2. Now the model is set up, I press OK, and then here we have three criteria, Petroni, Angel Granger Paste, Co, 
injury vest and fissure so we are going to use these two I use the first one Pedroni and then I have to test it with individual intercept and then individual intercept and individual trend and then none leave everything as it is so this is the first test for the panel configuration test using Pedroni press OK and then this is the outcome as you can see it here and from this outcome we have to do the some interpretation for this outcome and then we move to a next next one okay what we have here now as you can see it here padroni padroni residual configuration test and this is here we have a three variable log gdp pe lec lco2 null hypothesis no configuration and no deterministic trend so what what's that mean and here we have a three we have two scenario the first one alternative hypothesis common i r coefficient and alternative hypothesis individual a r coefficient so this is we call it within dimension and this is between dimension okay so we have seven now as you can see it we have four within dimension and we have a three a group between dimension now here we can look at this this is significant this is significant this is significant so here we have three one as you can see it here we have four and four eight and three eleven one significant two significant three significant out of eleven what does it mean this let me just explain it one by one I talk about panel wise statistic first the probability is one point zero point twelve seven six which is greater than five percent this means that I cannot reject null rather accept null this means that there is no integration between this variable the second one panel RHO statistic which is greater than 5% mean it means that we cannot reject null hypothesis and there is no integration between the variable number three here we can say p value for panel pp statistic p value is less than five percent meaning that we can reject null and accept the alternative this means that there is a integration between the three variable here and the fourth one for panel idf statistic the p value greater than five percent so there is no we cannot reject null hypothesis so there is no co-integration between these variable here the three variable and number four the same thing p-value greater than five percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis that means that there is no co-integration between the variable the same thing for number six and number seven is p-value is less than five percent we can reject null hypothesis and accept the alternative this means that there is a relation shape or integration between the three variable lgdp pe lec lco2 and 471 is not statistically significant and 8 not statistic 
uh, sorry, sorry, eight, not statistically significant, because greater than 5%, and number nine is not significant, 30.58% greater than 5%, and so there is no contiguation between the variable, and number 10 is significant because p-value less than 5%, <coughs> which means that there is a contiguation between all the variable, which is the three variable used in this uh, session. Then now we have to go to test the second one. I'll go back to reviews, contiguration test, panel contiguration. I use the second individual with intercept, leave everything as it is, and press OK. Here we can look at it. There is one contiguration, two two one significant, two significant, three significant, and this is almost the same as the previous one, which is a three variable, three variable, three method significant, and this means that we have to test it. Here we can say out of eleven outcome there are only three one two three four sorry four one significant two significant three sig three significant which is three and four out of 11 outcome there are four outcome are significant which is less than meaning that we cannot reject null rather they will accept now, it means there is no contiguation between the variable. So the third thing we have to test for none. I'll go to view, contiguration test, panel contiguration, I select none and then leave everything as it is, press OK. Here we can see the variable as you can see it here. 11 outcome out of the 11 outcome, we can see that how many outcome are significant, which is here none, there is no significant, and this means that there is no, it means we cannot reject null hypothesis, and we, uh, there is no co-integration between the variable. So in this case, we can say all the, the three methods we used, panel contiguration test for individual intercept, individual intercept and individual trend, no intercept, no trend, they have no contiguration, we cannot reject null hypothesis, and this means that we have to check again for the other method I'll go to view contiguration test individual uh, panel contiguration then I change it from Petroni to cow Angel Granger based and leave everything as it is because here we tested for individual intercept only press OK and here you can see in this method we can say p-value is less than 5%. As you can see it here, this is the cow residual contiguration test. This is the regression or the variable and null hypothesis, no contiguration, trend, no deterministic trend. And here you can see p-value less than 5% which is a test of ADF, residual, and then here we can say that the ADF corresponding to IDF corresponding to p-value probability less than 5%, this means that we cannot, we can reject null hypothesis and accept the alternative, which means that the three variable has a long run association ship so the majority telling us that there is a long run association and then we can then the variable are contiguated for the long run according to 
The second criteria of residual co-integration. And here just to look at it and this is what we conclude that in the padronic there is only a three almost and four for uh, the test of co-integration and there's one out of 11 which is not statistically significant so there is no integration between the variable because the number of outcome less than the total number of outcome out of 11 3 co-integrated or significant and uh, for individual intercept and four for the individual intercept and trend and none for none there is no co-integration but the good thing is Gauss uh, ADF is significant still less than five percent so there is a co-integration and association between the three variables in the long run thank you so